between layer farming and broiler farming, which one is more profitable? That is one of the questions that I, as a poultry veterinarian, with years of experience in the industry, I have often been asked about what are the profit margins for both broilers and layers? Which one has better margins? Layers or the broilers? And well, the answer to this question may, be, may vary depending on several factors, including the country of origin, the region, the market demand. I can provide a general overview of what to expect so don't forget to like comment and even share subscribe share to uh, potential farmers farmers who want to venture into the industry but don't know how and where how to as we brainstorm into uh, profit margins between the layer and the and the broilers and which you should uh, venture in first it is it's essential to understand that broilers and layers are two different types of poultry each with its unique characteristics production systems and market values broilers are raised primarily for meat production where layers are raised for egg production but later can be uh, uh, sold off as can be disposed of as x layers off layers spent layers Make it a, a double profit, I bet so. But now, uh, uh, let's start with the broiler farming. The profit, the profit margins for broiler farming can relatively be high, especially if done correctly. However, it requires a significant in in uh, a significant amount of investment of capital and resources including the birds the housing feed and labor and lamoa vet care to see you your flock uh, sail through and for you to achieve more profit the cost of producing a broiler bird varies depending on the region but generally it ranges between uh, around 200 250 uh, per kg of meat produced so no sorry uh, around 250 by the time you're harvesting uh, you're harvesting you're harvesting the the bud so you should work with the figure around there but before then you'll need to in to have a lamo veterinarian to give you the cost of production how the budget between a layer from a day old to the cost uh, say around four or five weeks depending on when you'd want to uh, to harvest it so your llama veterinarian will give you the production estimate how many bags how much water charcoal source of heat the house designs of how to produce your your, your broiler bird to maximize profits Broiler farmers should aim to produce the highest quality meat possible while keeping production costs low. This can be achieved through efficient production systems, proper disease control, and good management practices. Another factor that can have the impact that can ha that can impact uh, the profit margins of broiler farming is the market demand. Farmers should have a good understanding of the local market demand for poultry and adjust their production levels accordingly. There's a market that can, uh, that can support 500, uh, 900 grams, 1.8 kg, over 2 kgs. So understanding that, you'll be, you'll be able to get uh, a, a scope of how your market, your market, your market dictates. Layer farming. Layer farming is another is another pro, uh, profitable venture in the poultry industry. However, 
it requires a more extended investment timeline than broiler farming. You'll need for broiler farming, you'll need uh, at most six weeks, even eight weeks. You've, but for a layer farming, you'll need uh, you'll need to have it to have before getting an egg. You'll need uh, four and a half months. That's around 18, 18 weeks for you to get an egg. So the extended investment timeline than broiler farming. This is because the bird takes a longer time to reach maturity and start producing eggs. The cost of producing eggs can vary depending on several factors. One, the type of feed used, housing, labor, lamo vet care is a cost, so uh, even your local veterinarian, your, the, the uh, treatment, on average, the cost of producing uh, one egg ranges with the, with, the, with the prices now as of today being uh, second May 2023 uh, an egg, uh, an egg uh, a tray of egg is going at 420 shillings so if you work your maths right from the, the previous video that we had shared you tend to find a, a tray of an egg ha, it is giving you a profit of 5.1 Kenyan shillings as your profit. So on average, if you work with four to five shillings, this cost can be reduced through efficient production system, good management practices, and proper disease control. The market demands for eggs also plays a crucial role in determining in that in determining the profit margins of layers farming. Farmers should have a good understanding of the local market demand for eggs and to adjust their production levels accordingly. Another factor that cuts across both layers and broilers poultry is all about numbers if you work with a bigger number you'll get more profit uh, if you work with a with a smaller number the profit margin will not be as sufficient say uh, an, an egg a profit margin of an egg is five shillings if you have 500 birds that's 2500 shillings if you have 10,000 birds that is 25,000 Kenyan shillings if you have a million but that's 25 million Kenyan shillings is profit no that's 5 million Kenyan shillings is profit so in conclusion the profit margins for poultry farming whether broiler or layer farming can be eventually can be relatively high if done correctly however it requires a significant investment of capital and resources including the birds housing feed and labor to maximize profit farmers should aim to produce high quality products while keeping or maintaining the production cost low this can be achieved through efficient production systems, proper disease control, and good management practices. As a poultry veterinarian, I encourage farmers to seek professional advice to help them achieve their production goals while maintaining the healthy and health of and welfare of their birds. Don't forget to like and see you in our next video.